Elsewhere around the world, the Peruvian government continues search and rescue efforts to help those affected by Sunday's massive quake. Seoul's foreign ministry, meanwhile, received no reports of any South Koreans suffering from injuries or being killed by the natural disaster. Cho Sung Min, give us the updates. A massive 7.1 magnitude earthquake struck the coast of southern Peru on Sunday local time. Officials said military planes have delivered emergency supplies, including tents and mattresses, to people who are left homeless in the wake of the earthquake. Peru's National Emergency Operations Center said aftershocks have caused more than 170 houses to collapse, affecting at least 730 families. Rural towns such as Akari and Yauca in the Arequipa region were heavily damaged as they are located within 36 kilometers from the quake's epicenter. Previously, the government reported two fatal victims, but the death toll has been retracted to one. The quake just comes days before Pope Francis' visit to the nation. Peru's Prime Minister Mercedes Arau said the natural disaster will not interrupt the Pope's visit whatsoever. We know that the Holy Father will take note of this and will send his condolences to the families, but it doesn't affect the plan of the Pope's visit at all. Meanwhile, Korea's foreign ministry announced on Monday that no Korean nationals were reported missing or injured following the earthquake. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.